Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this makeup look right here. And this is actually going to be my second makeup look using the new Be Perfect and Stacy Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. So this is what the palette looks like if you guys have not seen it already. Super, super beautiful. I really love the packaging of this one. And then when you actually open her up, this is what she looks like inside. Super freaking gorgeous. So I actually did do a makeup tutorial with this palette already where I used like these shades over here on this side some more of like the pinks I used a couple of the reds the orange um, the purples of course you guys know I love purple so I feel like I wanted to give you guys another makeup look and I figured using these colors over here would be perfect so I did create this makeup look with this palette I am super super excited before we jump in to today's tutorial I did want to mention that in the tutorial that I'm talking about the first one that I did using this palette I highly recommend that you guys go check out that video after you're done watching this one girl watch this one first and then head over to that video because of course you get to see a bomb makeup look and there's also a giveaway in that video if you guys are interested you will actually be able to enter to win one of these eyeshadow palettes which is super super exciting so definitely make sure that you guys head over to that video so as always before we jump into today's makeup tutorial please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys have not already and of course without further further ado, if you guys would like to see how I created this makeup look today, then just keep on watching. So let's get started with today's look. So of course I'm going to be priming my eyelids, well my eyelid at this point, with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Number no. 2. Such a fantastic base, especially if you're using colorful shadows. And the first shade I'm going to be using is a shade called The Deep, which is that beautiful dark blue. Super gorgeous. And I'm doing the same method as always, just packing on that pigment to get the intensity that I want. And then to start to blend that out, I'm going to go in with the shade Lagoon, which is a beautiful blue as well. And I'm going to actually start to work that as usual, 50% on the line and 50% on my bare skin just to make sure that there is no harsh lines and it has a really beautiful blend. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Reef and I'm actually going to use this over the shade Lagoon. Um, so this is the last shade that's going to go up towards the brow bone as far as the blue color. So I'm going from darkest to lightest and then I'm going in with the shade Key Lime and this is going to go right on top of that Lagoon shade. You guys, this color is so freaking beautiful but I do want to let you guys know it is super, super soft. Right after doing this look, I used so much of it. I actually hit pan so girl, I'm devastated. Um, now we're going to start with the crease. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm using the micellar water from Garnier with a few q-tips and you guys see me do this all the time I just go ahead and clean up that area and kind of like map out the cut crease I feel like that's the easiest way that I have found to do it and just makes it look so clean It's unbelievable and then of course I'm using my P. Louise base with Mitchell and I wanted to show you guys this new brush I'm actually using the Zoeva 144 you can see I usually use the yellow one But guys you see the size difference it makes such a difference in your cut crease I was able to do this cut crease super fast super easy I'm in love with this brush I am gonna leave the brush down below in case you guys are interested so really quickly I went ahead and just finished cutting my crease off camera because you guys have seen me do it so many times and I am gonna be taking the white shade from the Riviera palette but before I do that I am going to make sure especially if you're using this blank canvas base that you pat out that base it dries super quickly so I'm just giving you a heads up and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the white so it's gonna go from the inner corner to the outer corner but not on the lid now for the colors of the outer corner I'm first gonna go in with the shade the deep of course because this is the darkest shade that we're using in today's look so I'm gonna pack that on first then I'm gonna go back in with the shade reef and I'm actually gonna pack this right in front of the deep shade um, basically I'm kind of doing like an ombre but I'm not bringing it all the way up to the crease part because that's where we put the white if that makes sense and then I am gonna go in with the shade key lime as well and I'm gonna pack that on there too Keep in mind, a look like this is not going to look super blended on that edge there where the white is going to meet with the color just because it's it's just not. So it's meant to look a little bit rough in that area. And then I did go in with a little bit of orange. I did want like a pop of color and I thought it was really beautiful and it went really well. And that's basically it for the eyes. I went back in with the white shadow just to make sure it was nice and pigmented and everything looked really good. So then I went ahead and took the one size. This is actually their black eyeliner and 
in, I just line that outer corner of my eye because then I'm going to go in with the black eyeshadow in the palette called Black Beach. And I'm actually going to smudge that out. It's going to make a huge difference when I put on my lashes. So let's get into that. So I actually use the new Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. I hate this mascara, you guys. I don't like it at all. Right there in that clip, I got a huge clump of mascara. It was a disaster. So I went ahead and popped my lashes on off camera. So let's get into the face. So I'm going to be using the Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown. And I'm also going to be using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I mixed them both today because my skin was feeling extra dry. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the Uma Beauty Foundation. This is their Say What Foundation. Such an amazing foundation, you guys. But I am losing my color summer is over um so this was a little bit dark for me but it's okay we're gonna work on it with some concealer but you guys the coverage on this foundation is freaking phenomenal so of course we have to do a little bit of cream bronzing i'm gonna be using my chanel soleil tan bronzer i'm obsessed with this one you guys it is so amazing and it looks really beautiful on the skin so for concealer i'm using the huda beauty the overachiever concealer such an amazing one i actually just featured this one in my must-have concealers nice full coverage but it's not cakey and it still looks absolutely Absolutely stunning on the skin so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a good layer of that and of course as always I'm gonna be using the collab set the stage powder to go ahead and set that in place it is my favorite setting powder at the moment you guys and you can actually find it at Sally's which is bomb and then to set the rest of my face I'm using my Sephora micro smooth powder as always it's one of my favorites and when I'm gonna pinch and I don't know what to use I just grab for this because I know it's gonna look beautiful no matter what it's honestly a no-brainer for me and then for bronzer I'm going in with the MAC mineralized skin finish in the shade dark tan and of course I'm using a huge bronzer brush because I don't want it to look too harsh but I want it to look nice and blown out then for blush I'm going to be using two blushes today they're both from Milani this one here is called Bellissimo Bronze it's one of my favorites as you guys can see she is well loved these blushes are beautiful you guys they have a really nice shimmer but it's not too overpowering so this color here is called Luminoso it's one of the popular ones I just want a little pink touch and then for highlight I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter. I don't remember the shade of this one off the top of my head, but as always, everything will be down below in the description box if you guys are interested. So that's basically it. After highlight, I always, always like to go back in with my blush brush just to make sure everything is nice and blended and you can still see the blush because sometimes the highlighter gets overpowering. So yeah, that's the face. Let's move back into the lower lash line. So the first color I'm going to be taking is the shade The Deep and I'm going to be using that on a flat definer brush and I'm going to pack this super close to the lower lash line and then I'm going to go into the shade Reef again and I'm going to be taking that to actually blend out that darker blue and I'm using a pencil brush for this but then I am going going to go back in and just intensify that blue again because it kind of gets washed away and then I am going to go in with the shade Key Lime again and I'm actually going to apply that shade with a nice big fluffy brush because I did want this to look nice and blown out and then I actually decided to go back in with a little bit of the shade Mango which is that orange color and just pop it right in the inner corner um, I just felt like it looked really beautiful like kind of matching the top of the lid so yeah I did do that really quickly and then I didn't record the part of me actually putting in white eyeliner in my waterline, but I did do that. And then I'm just taking the white shade from the Riviera palette and just kind of intensifying the whites. Um, so for my lower lash line, I just went in with NARS Climax because yeah, we were not using that Urban Decay. Absolutely not. So I did skip out on the lips in this video, but I will leave what I was wearing down below. So to just set everything in place, I did go in with my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. This is one of my favorites, and of course, I drenched myself in the setting spray. And then I'm using my little Batty Bee fan to make sure it's nice and dry. I'm obsessed with this fan. It's so freaking cute. And yeah, you guys, that's basically it. That completes today's makeup look. I am so obsessed. I hope you guys are too. I know I'm bringing you guys a lot of looks with this new Love Tahiti palette with Be Perfect, but honestly, I'm obsessed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's look. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!